G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I'm a project engineer at Vigo Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 3. We're going to show you how to create a custom schedule view. In this vignette, we're going to talk to why we would create a custom view, how we do that, and how we access a custom view once we finish creating it. It is assumed that you've watched the previous Schedule Planner videos and that you have completed assigning cost components to tasks and defining your productivity rates. Custom schedule views will become your best friend when you are either grouping tasks to isolate a particular trade package, scheduling a snapshot in time, or even stringing a series of tasks which may comprise an entire location system. These views will apply to each of Schedule Planner's modules, which will make them particularly powerful when you're presenting a variety of information. Let's get started and create our first custom schedule view. We're going to start by scrolling and selecting the Project tab. In the Project drop-down menu, we're going to scroll down to the Custom Schedule Views tab and left-click to open the View dialog. As you can see, we have no schedule views, so we need to first add one. First, we have to create a new schedule group. Start by clicking on the new icon. Let's start and name our first schedule group Location Systems. Note that our new schedule group appears in the schedule group dialog. We must first select the schedule group that we wish to assign our new custom schedule to. Left click on that schedule group and we must now name it. In the Show Locations pane, we can now isolate the locations that we wish to show in this view. You can select locations individually, use Control to select multiple locations, or, or use Shift and Hold to select a group of locations. Note that the tasks in the Tasks in Schedule pane have filtered to the corresponding locations that we've selected. In this view, we can also make a selection as to which tasks we wish to show in this view. We can also adjust the time span, and if we were to have loaded the suppliers and persons responsible for each of the tasks, we could filter that way as well. Click OK when you finish to save your new custom view. We can break out the new location systems group hierarchy to see a new custom schedule view. If we need to, we can always remove our schedule view, or if we need to modify it in any way, we can use the edit function to bring up the edit custom schedule views tab. Click OK to save. Let's navigate back to the flow line view, as this gives the best representation of our new custom schedule view. To filter to our new view, we can head to the active schedule views tab, and filter to the location systems and select our new schedule view. As you can see, we have only isolated the locations which exist in the superstructure. In this vignette, you have been shown how to create and customize a custom view and then how to view it in Schedule Planner.